Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so earlier today on Global, we did have the data download as expected because of course we uh, need all the info and data and stuff for the Ginyu Force. There are a few things we were expecting to see in this data download and a couple of things that we potentially didn't expect to see uh, this early that have been present as well, including of course, as you can see on the list here and you know, will have been in the thumbnail uh, and probably the title, is that after all this palaver yesterday talking about you know getting Ginyu but getting the Goku Black Super Easy A when it would have made more sense to get Gotenks. Um, it turns out we are going to get the Gotenks Super Easy A as well. Um, not at the same time. We'll go over the dates and stuff here as we go through the details. Uh, but we are going to be getting the Super Saiyan 3 Tech Gotenks Super Easy A uh, a week from today. So m most of this content comes out tomorrow and then it will be six days later we are getting the uh, Go tanks super easy a so bit of a weird one if you are pulling for the ginyu force obviously on global the special pose team not the craziest uh, that go tanks will be a nice buff for that team but we have to wait almost a week for it to come out so shout out to proton as always of course for combining all of this stuff or compiling all of this stuff into one thread i should say so we're going to go through that here and we'll look at the details for the uh new units that we haven't talked about because obviously i've talked about the ginyu force and the goku black super easy a in separate videos recently so obviously we get a promo movie just like jp got a promo movie for the cell max thing we get a promo movie for the lr ginyu force as well so that'll play the first time you log into the game uh, from the release tomorrow which is the normal banner time 7 30 a.m uk time for me i think it's like 11 30 p.m pst something like that i think pst is eight hours behind the uk currently um and so yeah we have all the uh, assets and stuff like that for the ginyu force then we have this krillin that is farmable from the dragon ball story event like with the resurrection of f event revamp so this krillin we'll talk about his details here in a minute uh new quest stages came out today so this was obviously the data download was a couple of hours before my early stream this morning so a couple of new quest stages nothing major very easy to just go through these uh, get an easy 12 stones and uh, move on the shop was updated as well so if you go and check the blue gems section there's a bunch of uh, elder kais and platinum hercules statues available then we are getting another stage for the support memory boost and it is the uh, lamentation of the absolute god which is the crying zamasu support memory this one really really good for uh, the team that you can build at the moment, which is like Zamasu's team, especially on Global, which can be a combination of Goku Blacks and Rosés and like super boss characters, and then the Boo characters from the Golden Week celebration because of the worldwide uh, chaos part of his leader skill. Because this support memory is Realm of Gods or Worldwide Chaos allies, two key attack and defense 20% for four turns when there is a time travelers or fused fighters enemy uh, once only. So pretty interesting. Obviously, certain events, you won't be able to use this, but very, very good for this team if you can use this in relevant events, right? For people who don't care about items and support memories and using them in these difficult events, when the anniversary content comes and we get fights against, like, you know, Blue Gogeta, one of the hardest fights in the game, who is a fused fighter character, uh, this support memory can come in very handy for the extreme team so that's pretty cool then we have the two new red zone stages for movie bosses 2 i talked about these in a separate video recently as well so do go check that out if you haven't seen it we go over the stats and everything for the bosses uh, stage 3 versus broly from the first broly movie and then stage 4 is bio broly so go check that out for the video if you want to see the stats and everything of those bosses then we have the easy a area renewal for the ginyu force uh, just for getting all the ginyu force free to play easy a medals and stuff um, those have all been added recently with new missions so a lot of newer players will have probably just gotten the ginyu force for the first time um, and those stages just getting a bit of a revamp to make it easier to easy a all those free to play characters then we have the db story revamp so resurrection of f um, so there's only four stages planetary destruction is the category drop um i'm oh, sorry there are uh seven stages because the rest are listed here um so obviously the medals were updated because the krillin requires these medals so all of the medal assets were updated with the new logo and everything um, but just a nice quick easy story mode uh, a few extra free stones from there and a farmable free to play character uh there's obviously if you have the story on 
There's a couple of uh, movie little assets that play from the ROF Blues and the LR Golden Freezer. Uh, then we also have the support memory that will be added as well with the Freezer in Earth's Hell. Um, <laughs> so that's a support memory that you can get. And then, yeah, the Super Easy A for Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. So you can see here the start date is the 26th of June. Um, so that is next uh, Wednesday. So all the new content's coming out tomorrow, which is Thursday, the 20th, and then the Gotenks Super Easy A comes out on the 26th. So then we have the Super Easy A for Physical Goku Black, which does come out tomorrow with all the other stuff. So tomorrow, Ginyu Force Banner, Physical Goku Black Super Easy A. I'll put up the uh, team building guide for his Super Easy A going over all the missions and stuff a little bit later today. Um, and then, yeah, the new Red Zone stages, new story event, all of that stuff comes out tomorrow. Then we have a burst mode for, I think it's the Ultima Gohan Dokkan event. So burst modes are always kind of fun, nice little challenge. Uh, we always do the videos for those to get all the missions done, get all those burst mode points. Um, so we'll check that out and probably do that on stream tomorrow as well. Then there's the support memory, of course. It's a movie bosses or other world warriors. Enemies attack minus 10% for two turns. Kind of a pointless support memory, really. Um, I don't think there's many events where this is relevant like enemies that can be attack lowered that are actually movie bosses or other world warriors but it is what it is then we have the pity coin because of course this will be for the physical uh, the int lr ginyu force um they are a yellow coin lr banner so there will be pity coins we'll talk about that more in the video that i'll do later because we'll be doing the summon or skip video for ginyu force uh, there will be tickets as well to purchase very similarly to the uh one for the um all my gohan banner uh, 30 tickets allows you to pull a multi-summon with 30 characters. Um, they've been lately doing a lot of these packs being able to be purchased twice as well. Um, and then we have the Extreme Z Dokkan Festival. This one I'm a little bit unsure because we, when Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks got a Super Easy A on JP, and I think when Rosé got his as well, they didn't have their own separate banner. They were on some other kind of banner. So I wonder if Global will do a banner that has the Gotenks, or maybe it'll drop that one that JP got that has the other Gotenks sub Easy A's that we won't be getting until later, but maybe it'll be that banner. Um, I'll let you know, guys know, of course, when we know what these tickets are for. And then there's a bunch of story assets from the events as well. So really the big shocker from the data download, I don't think, I've forgotten about the uh, burst mode, although I think this might be from part of the Topo celebration, which is of course where the Ginyu Force and the Gotenks Easy A are from. But the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Super Easy A is actually the biggest surprise out of all of these um, things that we've learned from the data download, right? Because after Goku Black's one being announced yesterday, we just kind of assumed that that was that and we'd get the Gotenks one a lot later on, maybe when Topo finally comes to global. But we are indeed going to be getting the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Super Easy A in uh, a week from today. So if we take a look at the wiki entry over here for Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks with his Super Easy A, um, remember, of course, leader skill and super attacks are unaffected. Um, his super attacks, I don't think any of them give him defense, but he's the old school blueprint because he was the first Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks where getting the 11 key super is the uh, most powerful. It massively raises attack for one turn and does immense damage, whereas the 12 key only does supreme damage. So it's significantly lower. And then the uh, 9 to 10 key is raise attack for one turn and does immense damage. So the 12 key super is actually his weakest of the supers. Um, but he does have some other buffs depending on the key that you get. He's certainly an interesting unit with his super easy A. So attack and defense 150, additional 200% attack and 100% defense when performing a super. He gives super class allies 33% defense and extreme class allies 33% attack for three turns from his first turn. He gets an additional attack and defense 100% when key is 11 or less. So again, getting that big buff on the 11 key super. Additional attack and defense 50% up to 150 with each attack performed. Chance to crit and damage reduction 50% within the turn where key is 11 and all allies in the same turn have acquired key spheres. So once everyone's picked up key, if he's at 11 key, he gets damage reduction. Um, so whilst he's not, you know, he gets a lot of defense on super, whilst he's not going to become a slot one unit, that's a good little bit of extra defense against something like, say, AoEs. The fact that if he's at 11 key, he has 50% damage reduction as soon as the enemy turn, like, starts, which is pretty good. Um, then he has a high chance to dodge, 
Um, and then he has an additional chance to dodge 33% when performing a super attack when he is 12. So he has a high chance to dodge in general anyway, just 50% chance to dodge. Then an additional chance of 33% when performing a super if you have 12 keys. So if you do the 12 key super, he then has what? Well, I don't know if they are separate or if they're calculated together because otherwise it'd be 83% chance to dodge or it's two separate buffs. But either way, that's only when performing a super. So this only will happen after he's attacked and only when key is 12. Gives him a little bit of extra defensive capability, but realistically, you are going to be wanting to aim for 11 key in order to get damage reduction, do the most damage possible. Uh, but yeah, he seems like an interesting and fun unit. I know he was a good uh, inclusion on the AGL uh, Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku team from the Golden Week celebration, obviously for JP, because he wasn't available on Global yet. Um, so he's going to be a nice addition to that team. Super Saiyan 3 teams had a few buffs recently, but we do still really need like a good top tier Super Saiyan 3 leader. Maybe if we do get a final hero celebration this year, finally get like Super Saiyan 3 Vegito and Gogeta, something like that. But this guy, definitely a very good unit. And of course, you know, the whole point of him releasing, even though it is basically a week later, is that he is on special pose. So that is a... Uh, help to building a team where the LR Ginyu Force will be able to be a little bit more effective. So that's the Gotenks Super Easy A. And then this is the free to play farmable Krillin. Um, he is an Earthbred Fighters leader for 50%. Obviously free to play units that don't have Easy A's. This is kind of what we'd expect for him from a leader skill. When he eventually gets an Easy A, it will of course become a 77% uh, leader skill. But he greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, which is pretty good for a super, attack, uh, a super attack effect. Does supreme damage and greatly lowers attack, which is also a very good super attack effect for some of these fights where bosses can be attack lowered. He has an entrance animation. Uh, he gets attack and defense 180% for the rest of the battle and chance to crit 82% for three turns from the start of the turn when all allies are super class from his entry turn. So as long as you're running a full super class team or at least, you know, you don't get unlucky if you do have an extreme unit, he needs the full rotation to be extreme, uh, super. Actually, it does say when all allies are. It doesn't say on the turn. So I think it is the whole team, actually. But yeah, on a full super class team, which realistically is where you're going to be running him anyway. 180% attack and defense and an 82% chance to crit for three turns. It's pretty crazy. Attack and defense 150 when attacking. Launches an additional super when facing two or more enemies. Obviously not very common. Earthbred fighters, allies, two key, attack and defense 20%. Recovers 20% HP and guards all attacks when all allies attacking in the same turn are earthlings characters. High chance to dodge and earthbred fighters, allies, two... Uh, Attack and defense 20%. In addition, when your team has an ally whose name includes Goku attacking in the same turn or starting from the fifth turn. So that means he's going to be giving Earthbred Fighters characters two key and 40% attack and defense, as well as having guard and a uh, high chance to dodge when you have a Goku on the rotation. So pretty decent. Unfortunately, he doesn't exactly have the best links with a Goku, right? High compatibility. What even is this link? Courage, Turtle School, Solid Support, Patrol, Resurrection, Earth Shattering the Limit. What is high compatibility? It's a link that basically only Krillins have. Wait, so how, how, are the, how are they ever supposed to get this link active? This Krillin and Vegeta is like the only card that has a different name. And this random Goku. Because you can't link Krillins together. So how would this link ever be active? <laughs> it just gives what two key and attack and defense 10% at level 10. That's interesting. But yeah, this guy seems okay for a free-to-play unit. Uh, especially with his intro buff. Like, he'll have pretty decent post-super stats. He's supporting Earthbred Fighters characters. Could be decent on an Earthbred Fighters team with like 23rd World Tournament Goku. But he's obviously not anything too crazy. But just a solid uh, free-to-play units so that's all the stuff from the global data download like i say the quest stages are out now the ginyu force and all the other content aside from the gotenks super easy a comes out tomorrow so do tune in for the live stream tomorrow morning we will be summoning for the ginyu force and then going through a bunch of the new content as well so do come by and check that out uh, let me know what you are most looking forward to. We'll have the Goku Black Super Easy A guide coming out later, as well as the Ginyu Force Summon or Skip. So keep an eye out for those. We are on the road to 30k subs over here as well. So do subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And yeah, that is going to be it from me. This has been The Masked Ningen. Check out all the links down below. I will see you guys all again soon. Have a good one.